Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold, lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass today. Thank you for being here. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. As ever, on Thursday, we offer this Mass for those who serve this town through the market and through the retail industry. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth. Be the terror and the dread of all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven, of everything that crawls on the ground and all the fish of the sea. They are handed over to you. Every living and crawling thing shall provide food for you, no less than the foliage of plants. I give you everything, with this exception. You must not eat flesh with life, that is to say blood in it. I will demand an account of your life blood. I will demand an account from every beast and from man. I will demand an account of every man's life from his fellow men. He who sheds man's blood shall have his blood shed by man, for in the image of God man was made. As for you, be fruitful, multiply, team over the earth and the Lord of it. God spoke to Noah and his sons, See, I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you, also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you, everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. No thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood. There shall be no flood to destroy the earth again. God said, 
Here is the sign of the covenant I make between myself and you and every living creature with you for all generations. I set my bow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The, the Lord, Lord looked down, down from, from heaven, heaven to the, to the earth. earth. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the, king, all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. The, the Lord, Lord looked down, down from, from heaven to, to the, the earth. earth. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The, the Lord, Lord looked, looked down, down from, from heaven, heaven to the, to the earth. earth. The sons of your servants shall dwell untroubled, and their race shall endure before you, that the name of the Lord may be proclaimed in Zion and his praise in the heart of Jerusalem, when peoples and kingdoms are gathered together to pay their homage to the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord looked down, down from, from heaven, heaven to, to the earth. earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. By his own choice, the Father made us his children by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he created. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages round Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, they said, others Elijah, others again, one of the prophets. But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up and said to him, You are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and to be put to death and after three days to rise again. And he said all this quite openly. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, get behind me, Satan because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. This is the gospel of the Lord. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. we ponder the first reading from the book of Genesis and the gift God gave humankind to care for the created order. We pray for those who are working for a more sustainable world. We pray for a world in which 
the gifts of God in creation are more equitably shared among his people. And we call to mind especially those places which are in turmoil at the moment, Turkey and Syria and the Ukraine among them. As we ponder the challenge of the sustainability of the created order, let us pray for the leaders of the nations that they may be granted the wisdom that comes from above. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we ponder the gospel today and the question Jesus addresses to every human being, who do you say that I am? Let us pray for the church and for her mission throughout the world. challenging people to ask that question. And let us pray especially for those who've fallen away from the practice of their faith. Let us pray for our diocese, for Michael, our bishop, for Paul, our episcopal visitor. And let us pray for the growth of our worshiping community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we pray for this town, we pray for those who serve this community through the market and through the retail industry. We pray for the prosperity of this town. We pray especially for those who are deeply challenged by the current economic situation. We pray for the Clevedon Food Bank and the people it supports. Among those who've asked for our prayers, we continue to pray for Lynn, Emma, and Simon recovering from surgery, and also for Anne, Claire, Margaret, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Derek, Beryl, Evie May, Alfie, Yvonne, Ron, Grace, Matthew, Nick, Lynn, and Evelyn. We pray for those who've died recently, for Ian Hutchinson, Barbara Potter, Penny Thompson, Anthony Roberts, and Tony Usher. And in years mind, we remember Betty McQuaid, and Barbara Sands. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And so we commend all those for whom we have prayed, the living and the departed, to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, hear the prayers we make in the name of your Son, our Saviour, and our Redeemer. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace 
and builds up our common life. Peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer each other a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever by the mystery of this water and this wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death, and manifest of the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be here.
sangue di Cristo. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body. Lord, may I receive these gifts in purity of spirit. May they bring me healing and strength now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and announce the Gospel. Thanks be to God.